Hello, today we will be looking at some of the cool features of the UDC Pro RT software. This video will be showing mostly transmission tuning features. There's some other options such as device, uh, there's going to be the VIN number, ECM version, things like that. Uh, there's some engine options too. Really mostly what we're going to be after though is the 68 RFE transmission. Under that heading there's going to be shift points, line pressure, torque converter clutch, and throttle sensor. Let's take a look at some shift point options. You have an upshift, downshift, and a wide open throttle shift. Under the upshift you'll see there are a lot of options. The 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5 shift, etc. And there's a lot of options within all of those. There's a lot of customizability there. If we look at the 1, 2 shift that we were actually on already, you can see where it is a two-dimensional graph. Um, there's a few things you can play with here. One of the features I like about this software is if you select a cell, it is going to automatically highlight something in the table next to it, as you can see there. Uh, same, the reverse is also true. If you click somewhere in the table, it'll also show you on the graph. Something that I like about this software is the description. It's going to tell you what's going on with the table, more or less what it is. Uh, a little more in-depth than what you know the stuff on the left will show you. Max values, minimum values, what steps they're in, what the units are, the name even. There's also user notes, and that's for something for notes for yourself for later, more or less. You can take notes on what the table is, if you need some help understanding it later, once you figure something out. If you have something on a particular customer, it can be pretty useful there as well. Uh, we have things like 3, 4, 4, 5 shifts, uh, all pretty straightforward for the most part. If we look at the downshift options, you have 2, 1 shift, uh, 3, 2, 4, 3, again, pretty straightforward. Under wide open throttle, there's a few more options there, but not quite as many as the shift points for the upshifts were. If we look in line pressure, first thing is going to be first gear max line pressure, and it's a really simple table. What's the max value? What's the original of that value? It's pretty easy to understand. Again, max value units, steps, etc. Max desired line, not a lot of difference. Uh, there is a 2D graph in here as well to play with that's going to give you a little more control. You know, might need to control a little more, I suppose, in this case. Uh, if we go and take a look at this next heading here for the torque converter clutch, you'll notice there are three uh, icons next to all these parameters. The bottom one is just an actual value, you know, really simple table. The middle one's going to be more of a 2D slope. And this one in particular is a three-dimensional graph. You can take and rotate the graph in any way you desire. Uh, it's going to move the axes around to match that for you. Uh, same story as before where you can click on a cell and it's going to show up on the table and vice versa. You'll notice it moves around a little bit as I click there. Under throttle sensor, pretty simple curve there, nothing crazy going on. Um, most of the same as the rest of them. Again, it has a description and things like that. You can play with what the axis is actually and change it around a little bit, whether for your reference or just you know needing to play with it like that in general, easier to work with. The description actually changes between the two, so it's kind of nice to show you that there. That's going to cover transmission tuning for today. Stay tuned for more videos.